everyone, it's Sarah. So this is gonna be uh, the second in our series where we talk about making these little lidded or sculptural critters. Um, so you should already have your egg and you should have had it let it set for a little while so that it can kind of firm up. And that's what we're gonna be working with today. So here's my egg that I have that's been wrapped in plastic. And um, I'm gonna unwrap them and just double check and make sure if he feels still really damp, really soft or squishy, you know, if I go like this and it's moving around and squishing, it's too, it's too wet for me to work with. Yeah, I'll just mess the shape up way too much. So if that's the case, just set him and then, you know, let him set for an hour and then check, see if he's a little firmer. Uh, if he is great, um, go ahead and work with it. If not, you know, let it set for a little bit longer and double check. Uh, once he is, the materials that we're going to be using are, the materials are just this. I've got a little lump of clay that I like to wrap in plastic. It's just, it's just a little handful of clay. I just have that sitting here and wrapped in plastic for when I start sculpting my features on here. That's the clay I'm going to pull from and work on. I just don't want it to get dried out, this lump, while I'm working on my uh, sculptural piece, my sculptural form. So. That's why he's just wrapped in plastic now. Um, uh, plastic utensils. I'm probably not going to use the fork as much this time, but I will use the knife and the spoon quite a lot. Um, a sponge, if you've got a little makeup sponge, round wedge, it doesn't matter. These are really cheap ones, so really cheap ones actually really good. Utility sponge if you need. Kitchen sponge, if that's what you got, that's what you got. Um, my comb, I'm not actually going to be using the comb portion too much, but this pokey end here, this pick end is what I'm going to be using. So if I have something like that, it works great, or a pencil will actually work really well, uh, or a paper clip that I've kind of unwound a little bit, this pokey end of the paper clip will work. If you've got littles, I wouldn't recommend this. Uh, a pencil, though, will actually work just fine, that you're just going to be using the point of the pencil. Um, I really, again, I like this kind of brush. It's just a cheap paintbrush. If you've got one sitting around in your painting supplies, just pull it out and use it. The clay washes off very easily, so you can go back and forth between paint and clay. I'd be more worried, frankly, about the paint washing off than the clay. Um, if you don't have that, a little eyeshadow applicator works great as well. Again, cheap. And if you don't have that, then fingers work just fine. Uh, cheap wooden chopsticks are sometimes nice. That's about it. If you're a potter, a loop tool will work really nice. We're going to scoop out some of the insides of this, um, and the loop tool works great. For those of us that don't have that, we'll use the plastic spoon. If this is very, very firm, um, the plastic spoon might not be quite strong enough. So if you do have a metal spoon that you can use, that's great. And if not, do a little extra work with the plastic, or just accept that the inside of it is going to look a little bit thick and a little bit funky, and it's not the end of the world. It's the inside. Um, okay, so we're going to take our egg. It's also nice to have a board. I have a little off-cut tile. This is the, the lid of a tin. Just something that I can put my form on while I'm working. So instead of picking up my form all the time, I can pick up this. Plastic lid to something will work great as long as it's strong enough to support your, your piece. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pick where I want to. I'm going to cut off the lid. You don't have to. If you want to do a sculptural piece, that's great. The important thing with a sculptural piece is you just poke a hole probably in the bottom so that the air can escape during the firing process. Okay, that's very, very important. Do make sure to do that. Um, but if we're cutting off the lid, then you don't need to poke a hole because there's two pieces. Okay, so don't make your lid too far down because then it doesn't have any room to put anything in. You know, don't, don't make it too far up because then it's really not that useful as a lid but somewhere right around here on this one would be good. You can see I'm just gonna turning it. So I'm holding my tool steady. I'm not cutting with this, it's just a guideline. So if you have something like this, that'll work great. If you don't, the pencil will work great. Don't worry if you draw on this piece, it, that, that will burn out during firing. So don't worry about any of that. Um, or your plastic knife too works. So it's just a guideline, just to make sure that's truly where I want my lid to be. Um, some people will just kind of do just a line straight across. That's what I tend to do. Some people like to have a lid that's kind of got a wave form on it. Some like to have it kind of have a specific key. 
you do what seems to make sense to you. If you have the waveform, or especially if you have the key, then you're gonna know where the lid sits on the body of the piece. So that can be really helpful. And also, if you, especially if you have that key, the lid is not gonna slide around on the top. So because I tend to do it straight, we'll see I tend to also do some things to make sure that the lid doesn't slide off. Um, one of those things to make sure the lid doesn't slide off is I don't cut, when I cut the lid off, I don't cut at this 90 degree angle. I wanna cut at about 45, okay, more or less. So I'm gonna take my plastic knife. If I have a nicer, sharper knife, you know, this is a nice potter's knife, this uh, Dolan tools, that works great. Um, but again, we're trying to stick with tools you might have around the household. So I'm gonna go, you know, right through at my 45 degree angle and do not saw, don't saw to cut. You'll end up with these really jagged, nasty looking edges on your lid. You're gonna have to smooth them all out. They won't fit just your impulse is going to be to saw. Don't saw. Trust me on this one. Okay? Watch what I do. I'm not going to saw. And then do what I do. Okay? So I'm going to hold this firm. And then I'm basically, I'm moving the piece. Okay? So you have to be careful if your piece is soft, especially you can't squish it too hard or you're kind of going to mess the whole thing up. So you can also see I'm, I'm sort of stabilizing the whole thing with my hand. Okay, right. So I'm not moving my knife. Okay, I'm moving my piece all the way around. Okay, so no sawing. I didn't saw a single time. Okay, so now I've cut through all the way around and it's popping off. But before I take it off, since I've mostly gone straight around, once I take it off, it's gonna be hard for me to tell where the lid should sit, right? So I'm just gonna make a little mark just for guidance on the lid and on the body, okay? So now that mark tells me that when those two line up, that's where the lid and the body sit. Okay. Now I'm gonna pull the lid off carefully because I don't wanna squish anything. All right, and we'll see the inside of this, like that looks thick and kind of funky in there, right? When we paddled it, we thickened it up, right? And then we sort of made the nice outside look nice and smooth, but that means that clay got moved around on the inside. So it's, it's because of the paddling. That's not wrong. It just is what it is. Okay. So now I'm just going to take my plastic spoon, my loop tool if I have one of those, um, or my metal spoon, whatever I'm using, and just sort of carve some of that excess off on the inside. Don't, don't mess too much with the top of your lip here. Carve off, you know, kind of into that, but not on that so much, okay? Um, don't make that lip too thin from a functional perspective, right? If this is gonna be a salt dish, sugar dish, change, anything like that, I'm gonna be using it a lot, picking up the lid, putting the lid down. I'm gonna turn around at some point and bonk into it. Um, anything that sticks too far off or is too thin and delicate will get broken off the first time I bonk it or drop it. And I guarantee you, even if you are a very careful person, and do your absolute level best to never drop anything. It's going to happen. You're gonna bonk it, okay? So let's just all accept that accidents happen and try and work with that. So I'm just kind of scooping out the inside. Okay, I'm trying not to mess and deform and move my shape too much because if I move this around too much and mess up that shape, the lid and the body aren't gonna fit too great. Okay, so it's gonna happen a little bit. We're gonna have to do a little bit of adjustments. If your form is drier, you may notice that lid, you're gonna get some little cracking around the lid, something like that. If it's starting to, if you're starting to see little cracks forming around here, it's, it's dry. Get a little water on your finger. So not a lot, you can see it's not dripping and just smooth that out. Okay, and that, that'll smooth those cracks out, anything like that. 
I don't use a lot of water, and if you have added water here, don't put the lid again on right away. Let that water kind of soak in. You'll notice when we wet the clay, it's stickier. So if I put clay on the wet clay, uh, it'll stick. Okay. I'm noticing on the inside of this, I'm seeing that seam a little bit, that join where it used to be two bowls. Uh, what's nice about kind of carving this out is that I can just kind of carve and smooth over that seam and no one ever needs to know that it was two pieces. Okay. Oops. Take your time. No need to rush. When we rush, we make mistakes. Take it easy on the clay. One of the nice things about clay is if, especially when I'm doing this, when I'm hand building as opposed to throwing on the wheel, if I'm getting less messy. So I've only got 15 minutes to work. I can take that 15 minutes, do a little bit of work, cover it back up in plastic, sealed well, come back to it when I have a chance. So that's, that's the nice thing about clay. So the general idea of this is not only to kind of smooth that inside out, make it look a little bit nicer, um, it's also to, to thin it so my walls aren't real thick and I have a real heavy piece, and to ideally make the floor and the walls more or less the same thickness so you can kind of just feel around. Okay. When I carve out with that spoon, I'm probably getting some jagged edges in there, a little bit of lumpiness, so I'm just taking my finger now and just smoothing in. Again, try not to deform your shape too much because remember that lid still has got to fit on there. Okay. If I'm noticing any you know, little micro cracks, dampen it a little bit, smooth those out. I can if I want to, you know, I like to make fat little forms. So I can if I want to kind of make a, push out a little belly on this. You know, you can see. That'll be my front now, I guess. Okay. For whatever reason now, I'm not really feeling inspired to put little legs on these. So that means it'll just sit on flat on the bottom. So in order to help make sure that it, it sits well and stable, if it's pushed out, what we might refer to as a little convex there, it'll spin like a top on that. So what we would rather do is actually push that in just a smidge. So we have a little concavity there, kind of pushed in there. That'll help it to be nice and stable. So you can kind of see there, it's, it's pushed into the middle and set it down there and it's it's very stable now okay so we're done with the top so you know do we're do we did our best not to to keep that mark so don't smooth that out and then we still have the mark on the lid okay so ideally they should fit more or less it looks like when i pushed out my bottom form here it got wider at the top so the lid doesn't quite fit. So I'm gonna push that back in a little bit because I'm still gonna work on the lid. So I, again, I might change the lid shape. So now let's pick that back up. So right, that lid is real thick and funky on the inside. Take my spoon and carve away just some of that excess clay. Try not to carve through. If you do, if it's just a little hole, you can kind of cover it up. When we sculpt onto it, you'll just cover that up. Be a little secret. I had a teacher who said you weren't a real potter until you trimmed through. So maybe you can take that approach if you trim through and just say you're ahead of the curve. Okay, and just. Take your time. Just 
smooth anything out in there that got kind of funky looking. You know, you can do a little bit more pinch work here. I might be able to make this a little bit taller. Okay, just, you know, be, be a little bit aware that you don't change the form too much because then it won't match the body. Okay, okay and again, hopefully we, we still have our mark there, right, that we made to guide us to where the lid and the body fit together. line those up right and then again just kind of work this so that it fits I usually find I just have to push the body in a little bit okay and that fits that's pretty good okay okay thanks all right we're gonna end the video here because the next part it's going to be sculpting and adding features and that can be time consuming. So we'll break it into two different videos, that part. Okay. Okay. So if you're ready to start sculpting on this piece, watch the next video and, and you can go ahead and start sculpting. If you just don't have the time or aren't really feeling inspired or it's not telling you sort of what features it wants, that's also fine. Just wrap it up in plastic. Don't, this doesn't need to be tight over it. It just needs to be sealed so that there's no, you know, this is wide open, that's not gonna work. But if I gently just kind of set it down like that so it's not tight on my form, but this is closed, that'll be good enough. And it can sit for days and days and days, uh, just like that, as long as it's not like in the direct sunlight or something. Okay, so that's how to remove the lid and kind of reshape and clean up the inside. And again, the next video will be how to sculpt and add features. So thank you very much. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Bye.